I'm going to show you how to build up a musical track of the melody Ode to Joy by Beethoven with four different layers of music using the GarageBand app on your iPad. Before we open GarageBand, let's go to your main settings menu, the silver cog. Scroll down on the left until you find GarageBand. Select GarageBand. And then on the right hand side, scroll until you find keyboard note labels. And if that is switched off, you need to switch that one on and turn it green. Now you can return to your home screen and let's open the GarageBand app. Now my page is showing me the GarageBand recents. And I'm going to tap on the plus to create a new project. If when you open your app it shows you this view, then you can tap on my songs and then tap the plus sign just to make sure that you're opening a new file and you're not going to be adding music on the top of something that's already in there that you've done before. Okay, so We've now got our keyboard view and we're going to select Smart Piano down in the bottom left. And that will open for us this view of our chord strips. And we're just going to set up the chords that we need for Ode to Joy because we only need two chords. So we're going to go up to the top right hand corner and tap on the settings cog. And then halfway down that menu, it says Edit Chords. So we're going to select that. And you should get this view here for customizing your chord strips. So tap on the first chord strip, which says EM. And then we're going to come up to the columns at the top and we're going to scroll until the first column is G. The second column is Mage, which is short for Major, and then the remaining two columns are None, None. Down here on your chord strip, it will just say the letter G. Now select your second chord strip and scroll in the first column to D, second column Mage for Major, and in the third column the number 7. Okay, and now your second chord strip should say D7. Now our remaining chord strips, we just want to be blank. So we're going to select them one at a time. And in the first column, scroll to none. And then the other columns will default to none and the chord should disappear. So go along and do the same for each one of these chord strips. There we go. So when you've got G, D7 and your other strips are blank, come up to the top right hand corner and tap done to save your changes. And you should get this view here with only the two chords that we're going to use for this project. The other thing we need to set before we can start recording is our tempo, which is the speed that we're going to play at. So I'm going to go back to the settings cog and you can see tempo there, the second option in that menu. It's set on 110, so we're going to tap on that arrow and scroll the tempo down to 90 to make it easier for us to record. So once you've matched your tempo to this, you can tap anywhere to exit that menu. And then if I play up here at the top, I'll hear the click of the beat at the speed that we've chosen, 90 beats per minute. So that's the speed that we're going to be recording our notes at. So it's a good idea to practice just quietly tapping your finger on your desk in time to that click. So you're really focusing on the speed of the beat. Okay. 
So that's our chords and our tempo. We just need to set the length of our section now. So along the top of your screen, you will see a ruler guide. At the moment, it starts with number one and it finishes with number eight. So if you tap on the plus sign at the right hand end of that guide, you'll see section A is eight bars long. Now we're going to record a two bar section. So we're going to tap on the arrow where, next to where it says eight bars. And we're going to scroll that down to two bars. Okay. Once you've done that, if you tap anywhere to exit that menu, your ruler should now have number one and two only. Okay. So we're ready to try out the chords for section A. If I tap my chord strip, I'm going to just show you how the pitch changes. Starting at the top, I get high pitched notes. And as I move down, the pitch gets lower until down on these grey bits, it's the really deep bass notes that you would find on the left hand end of a piano. So to record Ode to Joy, the bit that we want to tap on is here, the first of the white spaces as you come up from the bottom. And the notes for section A are G, 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 D, D, G, G. So it should sound like this. Okay, so once you've tried it like that, you can press play and try it with the click track, listening to the beat and playing on the beat. So that's G, 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 Okay, so practice that as many times as you need to until you feel you're in time with the beat. When you're ready to record, you will need to check that the arrow on your ruler is back at the start of the section. So to do that, if you tap return, which is up at the top, just next to play, and there's my arrow now back at the beginning of the ruler. So when I record, I'll hear a count in of four beats at the correct speed, and then I will record my notes listening to that click and playing on the beat. Two, three, four, G, two, three, four, D, D, G, G. As soon as you finish recording, it will play back to you, but now the ruler's turned green, which is showing me that I have recorded. If you need to record again, that's no problem. You just tap return, check that your arrow is back at the start of the ruler, and then just tap record again, and you can record over your first attempt. So you can do it as many times as you need to, just tapping return first. So have a go of recording the chords for section A.